While you were helping John Oliver crash the FCC website, you might have missed NASA's super secret space plane landing, a real Back to the Future jacket, and a Lego mecha suit. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we still can't tell who the replicants are. Happy birthday. After spending two years on a super secret mission, the Air Force's X-37B orbital test vehicle landed in Florida this past weekend. The unmanned tiny space shuttle was potentially testing autonomous navigation systems. Maybe. Or it's the government's cool new surveillance system keeping an eye on, well, everyone. It's like a U-2 spy plane, but so high up there's no chance it'll get shot down. It'll probably be decades before we find out what the little space drone is doing up there, which makes for great fodder for conspiracy theorists. Galactic chemtrails. It may not be as cool as those self-lacing Nikes, but the self-drying jacket that we've secretly been lusting for since 1989 could soon be a reality. Phalon Wearable Tech has launched a Kickstarter campaign for its SDJ-02 jacket, a real-life version of the one Marty McFly wore in Back to the Future 2. This jacket is equipped with a 6,000 milliamp hour battery which powers integrated heating and cooling fans that blast the wear with a climate-controlling breeze. And like its on-screen counterpart, the SDJ-02 can even dry itself out if you get caught in a downpour. Plus, its battery doesn't just power the fans, you'd be able to charge your phone and tablet with it as well. Of course, this is only a stopgap measure until our flying, time-traveling DeLoreans arrive and we can avoid getting rained on in the first place. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. And finally, here's a guy in a mecha suit made entirely out of Lego. Thanks for watching. Remember, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not watching you.